Hey guys, it's Trish here, um, and today we're going to be making a card using the Create a Critter cartridge. Um, I went ahead and cut out my pieces already um, for the mouse, and I believe he is on page 37. Um, so I cut out all the layers for him, um, and what I've been really trying to do recently is I've been trying to use my scraps because I have a ton of scraps. So in my scrap container, I had um, a sheet with a whole bunch of circles cut out of it that I had saved because there was a, a big piece of solid paper at the end that I hadn't had a chance to cut off. And um, I thought, you know what, instead of you throwing it away, I'm going to use this as a background to a card instead of using pattern paper. Um, so here's what I've done. I've already attached it down here. And it was a yellow sheet of cardstock. Um, I was cutting out the faces for the sun for my um, change of address cards and I saved the sheet and what I did was I just took um, some color box ink and I used um, a color, it's called topaz so it's kind of like a burnt orange and I just went through all the little circles here I'll show you just went through the circles I took it right off of here now if you have a bigger ink pad that you want to use you can take a um, makeup sponge and cut it down and use it once you dab it in the ink but what I did was I just did the edges and I did the inside like this. And it, there's no perfect way to do it. It doesn't have to be uniform on each circle. You know, if you have a little bit going over the edges, that's fine too. Um, so that's what I did for the sheet. And then I just attached it to um, this piece of paper. So I'm just using a basic A2 size card which measures four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm again using scraps so that's why I'm using the white and this reminded me the holes after I had inked it up reminded me of a slice of cheese so um, that's why I did the, the lighter yellow in the background and that's why I decided to go with the mouse because um, like I said I'm trying to use my scraps up so let's put together the mouse with all the layers. This one goes first. Okay. So now that he's all together, I'm going to attach, actually before I do this, I'm going to attach some pink ribbon. And um, I just went with pink because he's got a little bit of pink in his ears. So I figured it'd go well together. So we're just going to use the quick and easy cheater method way and take back a piece exactly where we want it, position it, and just tape it back here. I like to make sure it's straight because I've had a few times where it's not straight and I just attach it and I have to unattach it and stuff. So, there's that. And there's a little piece over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, that's coming off from the darker yellow, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of zig in the corner and attach it back to the front. Okay, so that's that. Let's apply this to the card. I really wanted to show you guys making this card. I don't record every card that I make. So I feel like, you know, sometimes my cards are simple and you guys probably already know the techniques or tricks. So I don't record every single one. But I did want to record this one because, like I said, um, I'm sure, you know, some of you have scraps. You know, I mean, every crafter has scraps. But I'm sure some of you guys sometimes, you know, you would do a cutout like this where you'd do a mass cutout of something and think, oh, well, I can't use this sheet of paper. I mean, what am I going to use it for? But, um you know, it's actually going to serve a purpose. So, lots to do. I think I'm going to have him on this side. Yes, I am. And I'm still debating whether I want to put, cut out the phrase from Create a Critter um, that says, say cheese. I might just leave it blank on the inside.
and I'll cut these down later and uh, burn the edges. Let's put him up on pop dots. there you go guys. Um, like I said, I just wanted to show you this so that, you know, you can go through your scrap drawer and hopefully create something that's unique, um, but still turn out really cute. So I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, check back for the next video.